All right, so some best practices for the engineering notebook. Um, right here, you know, you're always going to keep everything in the table of contents, and the only way you update the table of contents is by hitting refresh. You never type in here. So that is first best practice. This will make sure we're always linking. When we're putting a new title in, so if I erase this, I go back to the top, you'll see when I hit update, right here, refresh, it'll get rid of it. So that gets rid of it. I can go down to my next entry. Other best practice is making sure we get things in the table of contents right. So you always go to heading one, and then you give me whatever your entry title is, design problem one in this case for me, and then you do maybe a tab or a couple spaces, and you give the date. So like today is the 18th, so that's when I'm starting, and I would do that. And as we can see, if we go up to the top, and I click here, it will update my table of contents. So first best practice. Then um, whatever sections you have for your work in your engineering notebook uh, should be clearly labeled. So whether that's you are doing an entry and you're pasting a picture in, so you're doing it all on paper and you're just pasting the picture in, or you're doing it in here, I do like things broken down in a logical way. So like, make sure you do not do this in heading one. So like problem, I might say the problem statement, put that as its own like bold thing. And then you write the problem, you know, um, whatever that is. So whatever that is. I also like to list other areas like constraints, might get an area, brainstorming, um, you know, solution that you have, slash method. You know, if you have testing data, you would put all of that in there. Uh, and you'd kind of break it into neat sections. Uh, if you're doing this with pictures, obviously, uh, if you drew it and you wrote all of this in your notebook on a picture, you just paste the picture in. Uh, but you do still try to keep it in neat sections. With adding pictures, you can just paste pictures in, size them accordingly, and you know there is size and rotation. So if you do like put a notebook page in sideways, you can uh, rotate that if need be. So don't feel like you can't do that, and then you can do different uh, text options here: inline, wrap text, break text. Um, so I'm just going to leave it right here. And then you would continue on after that. Uh, so every day with your notebook, when you finish the entry for the day, you should do your initials. Like I'm going to do my initials here. And you know what? I'm going to do it a different way every day. Or not a different way. I'll do it the same way every day. And I would write like, this is all I got for today's entry. Um, and then to signify that today is fully done, I add a horizontal line. I'm going to remove the space there. So I know today is done. If I start tomorrow um, to continue working on this, I would start maybe like tomorrow just continuing on uh, for the next day's work. And I'd say, you know, uh, test data. And then I'd talk about the test data or whatever I did that day. And I'd continue on. And when I finish it, finish this day with whatever information I have, I would once again initial and then I would do the date that I worked on it for this day and add a horizontal line signifying uh, that this is what I did on this entry. If for some reason you have to go back to a previous entry and add edits, do all your edits in a different color. So edits by DB, you know, maybe I did this on 921 and I had to add some stuff, like I added a constraint. I would go in here and do that added constraint in the red color. Added, take it off of highlight, added constraints. Um, so if you 
do have to do editing, uh, you do it. We're going to do it in a different color. This is a little different than the regular engineering notebook, where is if you didn't edit out of order, you'd initial and date it there. We'll just use a different color to signify if you came back and did things something out of order, like you needed to. Uh, you realize you did the problem wrong. Uh, you might go modify that, uh, and you do the edit in red. Um, so that's really the best practices for this notebook right now. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're pasting in something from a notebook like I have in the sample entry here, or if you're typing it all and adding computer graphics. I don't care how you do it. Remember, you can always modify the size of the computer graphics to get more of them in there. Um, and then when you're ready for your next entry, you would go and you'd be like, next entry. And you'd put the date, like 9, let's say that happens on 925. And then you'd go to the table of contents and you'd just up it. So there we go. And now we could go to the next entry. And it gives the date. And you'd continue on in this fashion. Um, so these are best practices for the engineering notebook uh, that I'd like to see going forward. Uh, some of them can be modified, but the big ones are title, having clear boundaries between different areas of your thinking. So like clearly labeled problem statements, constraints, methodologies, testing, uh, brainstorming, you know, add your graphics. That's fine. Always finish the day with a horizontal line. If you have to go back into that days and edit, do it in a different color. And then um, you're going to do test or you're going to go to the next day without adding another title. So the next day you don't have to add a title because it's all in the same entry. Uh, and then once again, horizontal line and date when you're done for that day. Um, I think there's one other thing we could do. Maybe. I don't know if you can do it in Google Drive. Let me just see. So you could also add a border to a to an image. So if you were going to put in an additional image or something, I'd ask you to put a border with the edit color. So that's the only additional thing. So if I was adding this image on the second day or adding an additional image uh, on the second day, I just asked you to do a border of red on it uh, to keep in line with what we're doing. So like the first one had like no border or a very small border in black. Um, and then I'd ask, like, maybe make a slightly larger border if it's an edit. So you got to add one in on the edit day. Uh, you would go in and maybe increase the border slides slightly and just add red. So it's clearly indicating that this was done on 921 instead of 918. So that is all the things I'd like you to do for your notebook right now. If I get more, I will let you know as we go. Good luck.